Glenn Spencer, uh, researcher and uh, reporter, joining us in the last 30 minutes of the broadcast today, dealing with the ATF promoting the high-level ATF agents that even after their subordinates reported that the gun running into Mexico was criminal and killing citizens and cops on both sides of the border, including Border Patrol, they continued the operation to then demonize the Second Amendment. They have been promoted and given giant raises. This is standard procedure. The FBI agents that ordered their underlings to stand down on 9-11 including FBI agents that said, I believe they want to get an aircraft and fly them into the World Trade Center. They said, that's it, shut up, you're off the case. When they spoke about it, they demoted those officers, uh, those agents in Minneapolis, uh, in Phoenix and other areas, and it's the same situation here. Smoking gun evidence of criminal activity reporting uh, and the system supporting to get these individuals. Uh, Glenn Spencer on from American Patrol, because we've been interviewing him for about 12 years. Uh, he's an American political and uh, illegal immigration activist. And, of course, he's been a frequent guest on Lou Dobbs, many other shows, AmericanPatrol.com. And I wanted to get him on to talk about this. ATF promotes supervisors in controversial gun operation, L.A. Times. The three who have been, uh, by the way, I said this months ago, I said they would be promoted. we got to find that clip. The three, because for a job well done, this wasn't a failed sting. It was a way to demonize the Second Amendment, de destabilize Mexico through the SPP plan, use destabilization there to call for a North American security perimeter instead of our actual borders being the security to munialize and harmonize our forces. That, that's all on the books. So ATF uh, promotes supervisors and controversial gun operation. The three who have been criticized for pushing on with the border weapon sting, even as it came up. Part, well, it, it did, they did a great job, uh, received new management jobs in Washington and big pay raises. So the people that, uh, the, the, their underlings said, you're shipping guns to Mexico, this is illegal, stop it. They, of course, are being demoted and getting in trouble. That's been confirmed. And those that did it and followed their criminal orders to then demonize the Second Amendment, they are being promoted, kind of like the high-level FBI supervisors that ordered their um Folks under them that said, hey, these people are going to flight schools and don't want to know how to land them. I think they want to fly it in the World Trade Center. That was a quote by one agent. They said, we just demoted you. Uh, you're off the case. National security letter. Don't talk about this. They stood down. The attacks happened. And they all got record cash bonuses and went up to the big offices. It's like, you are hardcore. We're really going to take the American people's rights now and keep the borders open. High five. Attacks happened. Oh, well, let's help get the underwear bomber on the plane. Uh, we're the State Department. We'll put naked body scanners in. Uh, oh, yeah, these are good people. Uh, and uh, it, it uh, goes over all of that uh, in the uh, articles. And uh, as I was saying, Glenn Spencer joins us from right there on the Arizona-Mexico border. And uh, Mr. Spencer, good to have you here with us today. Alex, good talking to you. So, uh, what's your take on this? Maybe we should... Uh, Maybe we should give them a, a, a box of gold and, and, and cigars and, and have a parade for these ATF guys that, well, it's admitted at least five cops, three dead Border Patrol agents, uh, countless citizens on both sides. Uh, I mean, is the pay raise big enough for the great job they did? Well, I, I'm not sure if that, that's all they're going to get. There are probably some other perks they'll get that we don't know about. Oh, good. But, uh, good. It, you know, it, if you look at the L.A. Times statement, uh, the agents, uh, you know, the, the feet, the, 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 the boots on the ground, one guy says, literally, my mouth fell open. He said, he said, I'm not, I'm not, literally, he couldn't believe that these guys were being, uh, being promoted back to Washington. But it's not surprising. It's not surprising. These are, these are people who are to be rewarded for doing exactly what they were told and not questioning the authority from Washington, D.C. These are jackbooted thugs who will do anything the Obama administration orders them to do, including shipping guns to Mexico that are used to murder our agents. Now, if they will do that, they will do anything. So we must reward them. Absolutely, like Katrina gun confiscation. These are great people. And I, I, I guess they've got to be pretty proud of themselves now. I mean, we've got a lot of dead police officers, a lot of dead Border Patrol agents. This is, uh, 
I mean, I mean, how dare you not be for them getting big raises, Glenn? No, no. See, the, the thing is, this is it. And if the word goes out throughout the agencies, throughout the federal government, you do exactly what you're told and you will advance. If you defend America like Ramos and Tavion, who happened to have wounded a drug smuggler and criminal, they went to federal prison, right? So if, if you try to defend the country, you'll go to prison. If you turn against it and you and do anything you're told, anything, including the, the, the shipping murderous weapons into the drug uh, cartel's hands, you are on your way up the ladder. That's the message. And Obama has canceled what was uh, 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 left of the so-called partial fence they built, the virtual fence. They're canceling everything. Uh, the illegal aliens are running all over us. Uh, Rick Perry, who got awards for Sanctuary Cities, introduced a bill and then quietly killed it uh, to get rid of Sanctuary Cities. What a duplicitous weasel uh, he is. And we've got Absolutely. Oh, oh, tell us about Rick Perry. You're the big immigration expert. Mm. Well, I I've tracked Rick Perry for years, okay? Uh, he is an open borders globalist. Uh, he got $250 million from the state of Texas uh, for a border initiative. And I think it was the Houston Chronicle that gave him the Pants on Fire Award for wasting all of that money. He was such a liar. He spent it on 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 on, on political hacks without doing anything about the border. He is opposed to the fence, and that's the only thing that keeps El Paso being from being overrun uh, by Ciudad Juarez. But that fence is an important element in our defense. And let me may I say this. There is an element here that relates that links the fence to fast and furious. Because as you know, I've been flying the border on a regular basis. I mapped the border fence. I've been doing this for seven years. And I watched it go up. And what we found in looking at our data that we found out what started the Mexican drug war. We know what started it. It was when we closed off the Goldwater bombing range with a fence starting in 2006. That triggered it. And then they closed it off from, El from uh, Yuma over to Calexico. That kept it going. And then right near me, another 40 miles. This was the unintended consequence. By the way, that's the only true part of the movie Machete is that the drug dealers on both sides of the border get together to try to get a fence built so that the southern cartel can bring their their drugs in and cut off their competition. And I know that did add a lot of stress to the different cartels. That there's, some no, there's no question about it. I've analyzed it and studied this for two years, more than two years. That's what started the Mexican drug war. Had we finished the fence, they wouldn't have had anything to fight over. Now, this is what I think is, was behind Fast and Furious. Our government was trying to prove that it was U.S. weapons that set off the Mexican drug war instead of the actual fence. They and they, well, that was in Mexico. They also wanted to blame the Second Amendment. I remember a year and a half ago, they were blaming the Second Amendment for Mexico and calling for gun restrictions. So Absolutely. And they've been lying about it ever since. So what you have now, and you mentioned earlier, a program to essentially merge uh, the U.S. and Mexican a war uh, on drugs and, and the border effort. This, this comes directly out of Northern Command. Uh, I, I can go into detail with this, but I went to a, I went to a conference a couple of years ago. Uh, I had to pay $1,200 when I sat there and listened to a general tell us that the homeland definition used by Northern Command now includes Mexico. Did you know that? Yes, but the Northern Command includes, in their definition of, of homeland, the country of Mexico. That's our home. That's the homeland. That no, no, that's the, the we got the, de the documents in 2007. It's in my film Endgame. I know you covered it. Judicial Watch sued and got the North American Union SPP documents, and it said we're going to use border crises to get rid of the border, create a continental security perimeter, and that now Obama has officially executed and merge the three countries and use each other's troops in each other's nations against our own citizens. So, Absolutely. Yeah. And I sat there and listened to this general from our Northern Command explain how they're going to go about doing it. And I've got his whole transcript and the audio clip of how they're doing it. There are, the, the, our army, 
is encouraging our Border Patrol agents to work directly with the Mexican Army, right, going around Washington, D.C. Work directly with them, he said. We'll support you. This is totally subversive. This is totally subversive. But I'm looking into Mexico right now. I'm looking at a cartel headquarters. We have documentation. These drugs are going in and out of there, and the Mexican Army is going in and out of there. And I'm watching it right now. And our, our government, our northern command generals, are working to erase our border. And I have absolute airtight proof of that. Well, very well said, uh, Glenn. Getting back to this ATF situation, yeah, they, they, they quote the lower-level ATF guys that blew the whistle, saying our mouths have fallen open. You're promoting them? Because as you said, this was not a botched operation. They've now caught the FBI, DEA, and ATF shipping guns into drug gangs in uh, Venezuela, uh, in Nicaragua, uh, in Honduras, uh, into drug gangs in Miami. This is in the news. It's admitted now. Right. The head of the ATF admits that Holder lied to Congress. So this is a larger program, almost like Iran-Contra, where they're actually funding certain drug gangs that are knocking out their competition. And I'm telling you, this is the Chicago mob running our government. I mean, how creepy is it that the Chicago mob connected Obama? If there was any question about this being Chicago land nationwide, that that's what this is. Only with, only a Chicago land president would say, you know what, you guys uh, ship these guns in, and even after you got caught, kept doing it under our orders. <laughs> we're gonna get, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna kick you upstairs. You're what we're looking for. That is exactly right. They will, uh, these guys will obey any order, no matter how outrageous. That is the criteria for advancement. Because if they, if they don't get the word, don't ever question the order. Just do it, right? Uh, and so just do it, no matter how outrageous it seems. You just do it. If, unless you want, oh, you want to lose your job, go ahead, complain. You'll be out on your on the street. Ever check the unemployment rates lately? Good luck. And we'll blackball you. This is serious. Well, I mean, the is completely collapsing, and uh, Mexico's collapsing under globalism. And as you know, you've worked with native groups around North America. Uh, I remember being in Mexico 20 years ago for Christmas in Cancun. More than 20, like 22 with my parents. I guess I was in junior high, more like 25, 30. Man, time flies. And I remember... Uh, my, my parents were driving around Yucatan sightseeing, and there were signs everywhere that said, buy UN Biosphere Land, Glenn. And uh, my, they went back to the hotel and got brochures, talked to the concierge. They said, you can buy land in Mexico. They were just opening it up. And it was land where they had forced the farmers, it was all over Mexico, off their land, forcing them up to the Maquila Dores. That was part of the NAFTA deal. They were getting, you know, this was pre-NAFTA. They were getting ready for it. This was probably about... 1990 or something, maybe even earlier, and and now I've learned all over all over Latin America they force people off their land up to the big cities, which are then juncture points to the United States and Canada, and it it, it is just absolutely horrible what these globalists have done. They really are long term thinkers. No question about it. No question about it. It's the elimination of the nation state, one world government, one world, uh, no borders. No nation states, no army, over, only the U.N. That is their goal. Uh, they will sacrifice us. They will look at problems like in California and just slough it off and say that's the price we have to pay. Well, Glenn Spencer, I really appreciate you joining us. You know, we need to make this a big issue with the big-time Republican talk show host. We need to get Congress to be subpoenaing uh, the Attorney General for caught lying. We need to really see a movement towards impeachment. I mean, if this isn't impeachable, fast and furious, what is? Do you agree with that statement? Absolutely. No question. Well, let's get the heat on these people. I mean, where are the big mainline Republican talk show hosts? They're still calling it an Obama screw-up, shipping guns in. This isn't a screw-up. I mean, Hitler going into Poland wasn't a screw-up. It was what he meant to do. Well, that's right. And, and even you talk about Rick Perry, uh, my little feature today. I mean, here's Fox News, you know, the supposedly uh, bastion of the right. They won't talk about Rick Perry's uh, play feet in immigration. They won't talk about it. And, uh, well, Rick you know, Perry I mean, got an I mean, award. I talked about this last week. People didn't believe me. 
Rick, I mean, they pulled it up off C-SPAN. I have footage of it in my in my film Battle for the Republic. Rick Perry was was given awards by Vicente Fox for in-state tuition for illegals that other U.S. citizens don't even get. I mean, right. th this guy is a joke. He is. The, he's no. He's not a joke. He is a serious threat. Yes. It's just a joke that Limbaugh's endorsing him. I mean, is there no end to these people? <laughs> I don't hear Limbaugh endorsing him. He endorsed him? Oh, yes. I didn't, I didn't hear that. Yeah, look, just Google Rick, uh, Rush Limbaugh endorses Rick Perry. Oh, you're kidding me. No, guys, search it. We'll show people when we come back from break. Well, Glenn, uh, fire out the two websites for folks. Okay, I've got AmericanPatrol.com, and we've had 31,526,000 hits on it. And then I also have American Border Patrol. We don't update that as much, but you've got some good stuff, including the proof that the fence started the Mexican drug war, and they should have started, stopped, they should have finished it. All right, Glenn, thank you so much. Folks, Google bomb the term Ron Paul exploding. The article and video are at InfoWars.com. We'll be right back with some more of your calls. Thank you, Glenn.